My mom and dad bought the home farm in 1976 and just started out with 60 cows and uh, we've kind of been growing since. We're uh, Funks Midway Dairy in central Minnesota. I farm with my two brothers, Greg and Jeff, and my mom and dad, John and Dorothy. We all kind of had different areas. So, uh, you know, Jeff really likes working with the cows and my other brother, Greg, works with the crop management and John and Dorothy, who are my parents, kind of get involved with everything and as far as book work and decision making. I was looking at freestyle barns and parlors back at college and I came home to the home farm back in 94 and I thought that was the way to go. On the home farm, we've had steel stalls, and we were always looking for longevity. We need it to last. We, we don't. We can't have the maintenance, and and we just said this was kind of our opportunity to to focus on cow comfort, and that kind of just led us right into uh, a flexible stall, and and from there we just kind of had some conversations with Easy Fix. You know, at the steel stall at the home farm, I watch the cows lay against it, and I watch them hit hit their hip bone as they get up, and. A few things like that where over here they just get up with ease and you see that stall moving and I just know they're not getting hurt when they're getting up and that's probably one of the big things I was excited about with the easy fix stall is the flexibility, the comfort. When, when you make things rigid that's when things break and I think that concept kind of goes together with the composite post and the, and the loops and you know flex isn't a bad thing but then you have to have the strength to go with it also. It's surprising how often the cows come in contact with the loops, you know, and when you're in a steel stall, they're not moving, the cow has to move. You know, and on these stalls, uh, you can actually see if a cow is breathing and she's touching the loop, the loop actually moves with every breath that she takes, you know, and, and that's comforting for us to know that she can lay where she wants to lay. So we were looking at different options for mattresses and then we we took a look at the Jupiter. We like the smooth smooth on the back versus the pebble top and that's for cleaning purposes because at home when I get frustrated when they're not cleaning good enough because the pebble top just doesn't quite let you clean as good as the smooth surface here. And this mattress has a two inch foam and the cow's feet can dig into it and get up so I don't really see a need for the pebble top. If you put the combination of uh, good blood flow with these cows because they can lay comfortably and, and you put that together with the robotic milking system, I'd be very confident that you know we're going to get a longer life out of our cows because they're more comfortable and I think the robots will help with that also but uh, it kind of comes back down to if you take care of the cows, the cows will take care of you.